guitar listen it's nine days in jail by the great rl burnside we're tuned open g that's your fifth string or a string tuned down to g it's your fourth or d to normal your third or g to normal and your second or b to normal super common you can capo to move up to a b c etc but we're going to stick with g for now let's get right to it Super, super cool funky lick. Lots of hammers and slides. Got my slide on my third finger. You can use whatever finger you like. Using my thumb on the third string. And my first finger on the second string. Using my thumb and my first finger. So you want to play that third string open and go to the third fret. And slide up just a little bit. Maybe one fret. And then your first finger plays that second string. All right. There's a lot of notes on this song where you're sliding a half fret. slide at all. I'm showing you that with my fingers so you can see what's happening, but you're actually playing that with the slide. Now, the tricky part here is you don't want to hear two or more strings being slid is that right being slid being slided being slid at the same time so i'm using my thumb to mute the fourth string i'm using actually the knuckle of my thumb to mute the fourth string so that i can pick the third string and if i wanted to mute the third and pick the second i'd do the same thing i would just use my thumb to mute the upper note that i don't want to hear all right so I'm plucking this note, but I'm muting with the thumb, I'm muting that third string right above my thumb. So I'm only hearing that second string. If I want to do the same on the first string, and I don't want to hear these other notes, I'm literally muting all those strings. The fourth, third, and second strings are being muted by the rest of my thumb, and the thumb is picking the first string. I do this all the time, super common. So if I want to pluck that first string only and hear only that first string, I'm muting the second, third, and fourth by laying the side of my thumb on those strings. So sometimes I use my first finger to mute that first string so I don't get any resonating overtones from that open first string coming through. So if I'm playing, for instance, my thumb is on the second string, and if I'm playing a note on that one and I want to kill that first string, I use my first finger. So in other words, do your best to mute out all the strings that you don't want to hear. And notice how I'm chopping all the notes. 
when I go to another note or another string. Obviously, you won't be using your fingers. You could if you wanted to, not a big deal. But when you use your slide, you only want to hear those strings that you're sliding on. So if I do it without my fingers, you can see better exactly what I'm doing. Obviously, I'm doing a hammer right there, but when you play the slide, you don't want to do that. All right, so that's the intro. It seems a whole lot more difficult than it really is. So this is the main part of the whole song. What you're doing is open chord, first finger on two, three. Fourth string, fifth fret, third fret, zero. Remember to start on the up. Really important. Take a look at my left hand. Since I have my slide on, I have to use my first and second finger to do the fretting. So my first finger is on the third string, second fret. it up too. You can go to different strings. So these two strings obviously are the same. So I can play that same riff on the third string. Now why am I using my first finger when I go up here instead of my second? Well, you can do it either way. It's easier to use your first because it's, you have to kind of stretch these two since I have my slide on my third finger. So I do that a lot. Notice I'm choking with that second finger, fretting with the first. I'm using my thumb to kill the fourth string. Lots of stuff going on. Once you get the groove of it, it's really easy. Well, that's pretty much just like every song, right? I do a lot of syncopation, a lot of choking with this hand. So when I get bored, I might start out like this, pretty much straightforward. And as I get more bored, not that I think this song is boring or anything, but I like to change it up a lot. So I might go... Nine 
five days in Jimmy Murphy's Last part of the song. All that I heard was my baby call. What you want with the rooster when he won't go for days? What you want with the rooster? So you can use your slide too, which sounds really cool. make it your own remember you don't have to do it just like Ariel make it your own that's what he did that's what all the people before him did I spend my days in jail I face to the Check out my website, jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitar is just like this one since 2004. Please subscribe, tell your friends, and we'll see you next time.